Arizona is the leading state for rattlesnake biodiversity with 13 different species. These snakes are iconic to Arizona's culture, but with major construction ahead, they are not guaranteed to stick around. The hot sun, cactus, and the desert. These represent Arizona, but so does this sound. So in something as small as just Phoenix, I mean, Phoenix is pretty big, but um, just this one city, you have six different species of rattlesnakes, which is more than almost every state has. Brian Hughes spends his days on trails, relocating snakes that slither into homes. Before uh, there were all these houses here, there was just a mountain there. So the rattlesnakes were using all those little situations there, but now there's houses there, there's garages that they make you know, use of as caves. So rattlesnakes are still going to live there. They're just showing up in people's backyards instead of, well, the boulders that used to be there. But it's not as simple as just letting snakes go back into the wild. Even these, these feel-good ideas about moving animals out of the way or putting them into a natural environment so that they don't get uh, affected by this, that's not the end of their story. The real issue is what is pushing the snakes out? Roads are part of that larger problem that we see affecting these wildlife communities. The Arizona Department of Transportation projects a 37% population growth in the next 13 years. That's a lot of cars that need a lot of lanes. New highway proposals may help road congestion, but will cause problems for these guys. We're just gonna watch the same thing happen all over again. I mean, every time that ground breaks in one of these communities, we see the same mistakes that are made with development. Walking through the desert land like this, you wouldn't necessarily be surprised if you heard some rattling right at your feet. But here on the sidewalk, you might be. Now here's the thing, when the desert land behind me is paved over, the rattlesnakes might come into the new developments and end up right on your doorstep. Hughes responds to calls to properly remove snakes that end up just a little too close for comfort. So a lot of the work that we do in parks and research that we do with rattlesnakes is to look at not only the habitat where they live, but the really particular places that they use throughout the year. For these Arizona Western Diamondbacks, cohabitating in a pack rat nest is the perfect new home. Knowing that is pretty critical. I mean, think of all the places that we walked past that we could have released a snake. Gathering research is critical for proper relocation. It is a data-driven process that in these worst case scenarios, we can have the best approach to going at that. One thing that's clear is that the roads will keep coming. It just looks like we've done this before. It's Groundhog Day. And people like Hughes will keep doing the work of a rattlesnake relitter, moving them along to their next home.